Hi guys, this is a really quick video regarding some of the issues that you might face when using the one minute OHLC setting in the MT5 strategy tester. And this revolves around the fact that it's impossible to exactly replicate that behavior when you eventually trade your expert advisor in a live account. Now, you'll have heard me talk in previous episodes about the concept of controlling bar opening. And this provides you with a way of getting that same behavior, both in the strategy tester and in your live account, which means that your results that you get in the strategy tester are much more likely to represent the results that you'll get when you trade it live. And if you want to look back on any of those episodes, then I've placed a link right in the description below. But as I say, that's not possible when you're processing all four ticks from the one minute OHLC model in the strategy tester. Let me explain why that is. So firstly, just some quick background. So the option that you see in the strategy tester here is what determines which specific ticks will get delivered to your expert advisor by the strategy tester. And I've been through these before in previous episodes. Now, if you choose the one minute OHLC setting, this will deliver the four most important ticks from every minute, that being the open, the high, the low, and the close ticks. So here, the strategy tester effectively replicates the delivery of ticks as your expert would receive them from live market conditions, but only those four are delivered in this particular order. The open, which is then processed by your on tick function, followed by the low and the high, and then finally, the close is delivered to your on tick function. Now, depending on the time frame that your trading strategy uses, this might or might not cause issues. The problem with this, as I said before, is that this processing model cannot be replicated when you put your trading system in a live account and it's receiving all of the ticks from the open market. So let's open MT5 on an M1 chart to illustrate what I mean. So the problem revolves around the fact that we never know which is the high tick and which is the low tick of a bar until that M1 bar has actually closed. So if you look at this, for example, we have a high price here, but was that the high? No, it wasn't. You've just seen the price has extended it further. So we never know which ticks we have to process in our EA. It's only when a bar closes, as you've seen just happen, and we got this new red bar, that we can guarantee that this is going to be the high price and this is going to be the low price. But by that time, it's too late to process those ticks. They've already been and gone. Likewise here, you can see that the current bar has made a low that you can see where the cursor is now, but is that the genuine low of this M1 bar? Again, we don't know because the price in a moment might come lower than that. And so we never know if we should process the tick or not. And so it's this inability to know which of the high and low ticks at the point that they arrive that means we can't replicate that behavior between the strategy tester and your live trading. And there's simply nothing that you can do about that. So you either have to accept that that's going to be the case or use a different model. So let me tell you what your options are. You can either test using M10HLC in the back tester, which will just use the four key ticks that are delivered. But then in your live account, you could use real ticks. So you could process every tick that comes in which means you're guaranteed to get the high and the low, which is okay, but again, it's not exactly replicating behavior that you got in the back tester because you weren't processing all of those other ticks there. 
Alternatively, you could control bar opening on those M1 charts in the strategy tester, meaning that you only process the open tick. And that is something that you can replicate in your live trading account because you can run that bar controlling code there as well, meaning you only ever process the open tick for that as well. So you've got that unity of behavior, exact unity between backtest and live conditions. And that's what I choose to do personally. However, that's only going to be possible if you're trading on a high enough time frame. So for example, if you're trading on the 15 minute time frame or the hourly time frame or above, then the fact that you're only processing one tick from every minute is probably more than sufficient. But if you're trading based on much shorter time frames, so for example, you're trading on the one minute time frame, then clearly that will not be sufficient and you should actually be using a model that uses all of the ticks both in backtesting and in your live account. So really this video was just to raise awareness to the fact that there will be differences between the two different contexts if you're using this model in backtesting. And it's something that you will need to consider based on the types of system that you trade as to whether that's important or not. So I hope you've found that useful. You can click here to find out more about DarwinX and the services that we offer to traders like yourself if you're not already aware. And please do remember to give me a like and until next time, trade safe.